So welcome to a more festive backdrop because it is of course the season to be jolly and to um, have a tipple now and then. So a watch from Canada that's called the Parking Meter 2. How bonkers is that? And that's why I was immediately drawn in and I wanted to see more about this watch. What made things even better was that Van Banner reached out to me, not literally, from over the seas and they just basically said, can I send you a watch? I really want you to review it. And I was smitten before I even got sent the watch because I've been following Van Banner watches for over a year now on Instagram. And I have been admiring the prototypes, the journey that they've been going on, all the different types of watches that they've been developing. And then this watch, and it's fun and quirky. And I just think it's a really good thing to share with you guys as part of the watch community. It's good to support micro brands. What better to support one from Canada, a place which I call my second home because my sister's there and I've been there so many times and I adore it, what an incredible country. And even more beautiful is the fact that the design and inspiration of this watch came from that beautiful place. So before I waffle and gush too much about Canada, let's find out some more information about this watch. And here's the uh, stats and specs. So a Canadian micro brand with a parking meter countdown timer. Doesn't sound normal, does it? But that's what I love about these kind of things. That's why I love reviewing watches because you get these little surprises along the way and they are pleasant surprises sometimes. And that's where this little beauty fits in. Just want to reassure you that I am not biased you know me by now if you're a regular viewer of the channel, regardless of the fact that they sent me this watch kindly, Van Banner, thank you, and I get to keep it, you know me, I'm always honest. I've still got my list of likes and dislikes, and I'll just tell you that. That's how it always works. So let's get stuck in, first of all, with my observations I've made with the dislikes. So let's start with the first thing I really noticed, immediately when you unwrap it all and get out of the plastic is, it's got slightly sharper edges, especially as this bracelet conforms, you do feel little bits of sharpness. And especially on the crown here, a little bit of honing required, I suppose, is the main thing. But it's mainly on the bracelet and, as I just said, the crown there. But everything else feels well enough honed. The edges under the case are great. Everything else is smart. I think it's tricky to do honing on a bracelet with this design because of the very angular design and shape to it. So that's the reason why it feels that way. Could be risky if you've got a smaller wrist. When the watch conforms immediately around your wrist, this can look a bit awkward, but I'll just show you on my wrist. It's actually fine, but there's still an element of this looking a little bit awkward. It's a tricky thing to get right with all these different angles playing together. But I think he's done a good job. And my list of criticisms is actually quite short for this piece, really finding it hard. I mean, I think the overall brushing could be a little bit smoother. I mean, it's not rough anywhere, but I just think from seeing other watches at similar price, I say this is just over 200 pounds with my discount, which um, you'll see in the description of the code you get. You get 10% off until the end of this year, by the way, which is very generous. Thank you, Van Banner Watches. It's just a thing for you guys. It's a festive time of year. Just nice to be generous. Next thing to criticize is this bracelet. For sizing it, it's nice to have screw pins, but what's not nice is when there's a screw on both sides, you need two screwdrivers, it's very fiddly. They were quite stiff. I had to use a lot of my grip strength, which is not bad to actually pop and undo the screws. It was a bit fiddly, a bit tricky, and I'm not happy about that, to be honest. That's it. You shouldn't have to do it more than once, should you guys? But now I've waffled a little bit too long about my few criticisms. I'm going to move on to all the likes because the like list is pretty much quadruple, if not more, the dislikes. First of all, I'll fly through it, otherwise I'll be here forever. The Myota 9000, running well in this watch. It's a lovely, slim, refined high beat movement with minimal noticeable rotor wobble. And I just think the hand winding is smooth. A little bit slightly lumpy feeling compared to maybe a Swiss movement, but I'm being ultra picky. It's really nice. Even the, the crown screws in beautifully. Moving on now to comfort. Even though I've said there's a few sharp edges here, they're not on the underside. Comfort wise, I've worn this for days on end. 
and it is so comfortable helped by the fact you've got this gorgeous conformity with this bracelet it goes around the wrist really smoothly and you've got plenty of micro just look at that that's what i want to see on a watch all that micro adjust you can get it to fit you perfectly the links are nice and small easy well <laughs> they're not easy to size so you almost want to go well get it close and then enjoy the ease of resizing with the micro adjust on here case design i've got to show you this case design if i can get it off my wrist it is bonkers in a good way look at this look at this deep scallop effect here and then the lugs they just slope down but they're very flat it's very unusual shape design very it's almost industrial with it the way it's got the angular edges and slopes but it's still somehow elegant it wears really well it's not a big watch and it wears comfortably i think it's been so cleverly done props to van banner for their design i think the proportions of this watch and the way its ergonomics work for a wearer are spot on the price not much more than 200 pounds with my discount by the end of the year that is fantastic i just think to have something that's been designed in canada and has a spec as good as this for not much more than 200 pounds is incredible now we're going to move on to this textured dial oh i just love a textured dial. it looks like eggshell especially with the white and that incredible contrast not many white dials when you have indices and hands they can be lost but this is so legible I am really impressed with how legible this is still with a white dial and it has helped with the lovely bright red seconds hand. Just love all the angles that are playing with each other here. This the way that plays with the light on the bracelet. Again, I've said about the case and you've even got this single dome crystal that plays with the light and distorts things. It's just interesting. It's got a lot of depth of character to it because of all these different angles and bends of light. Really cool and fun to look at and wear. Loom, oh my God, loom is amazing. You've got two different shades of loom in here. Everything you can see is loomed, apart from obviously the dial itself, but the hands, the indices, different color, loom on the 12 o'clock position. Loo these are loomed even, the, uh, the orange and the red parts. Even this is loomed on the crown. It's just fun. If you like loom, like me, I'm obsessed with it for no God-given reason. It's just fun to have a watch that lights up. As soon as it gets a bit dark, it's just so much fun. I love it. And speaking of I love it is these two colors. The countdown timer is it's really useful. I do a lot of cooking at home. My wife will disagree, but when I do do cooking, <laughs> my God, I'm gonna get in trouble. It's really useful to have countdown. You go, right, I've put something in the oven. I've put the uh, chicken nuggets in for my lad. And then I just go, right, they gotta be in for 20 minutes. So you quickly whap this around to 20 minutes at the minute hand. And then whoosh, as soon as you get to there, done. The nuggets are ready. My child is fed. Lazy cooking is done. And you can move on to the next dish it's also primarily for parking you go well i've got a quick 30 minutes you just go well i can't be bothered to work out what 30 minutes is i just click it there done as soon as you're into the red you go i better get back to the car or i'm gonna get a ticket so useful countdown timers are highly underrated and i think it is actually incredibly useful for those of us who don't ever go deep sea diving uh, even though this can go diving because it has 200 meters of water resist but it's not a diving watch it is a useful everyday practical countdown timer watch and the bezel action on this watch is stunning it's the perfect weighting it's light and crisp oh i'll just get this close to the mic listen to this oh very smooth very easy and it lines up really nicely really grippy bezel so it's the kind of thing you're going to find yourself fidgeting and fiddling with as long as that's the only thing you fidget and fiddle with uh, in public you'll be totally fine and i've said before legibility but these hands and these indices are so bold striking full of loom really easy to read it's a practical watch but still aesthetically for me very pleasing i just wish the stock levels of this white were more acceptable because i think it's sold out already and i'm devastated to say that because you guys are going to go i love the white one i'm going to go and buy it but guess what it's sold out for months but you've still got stunning green and blue that still look gorgeous but if your heart is set on the white one get your name down try your best to get one so in conclusion van banner what a fantastic watch i was hoping it would be good when it arrived it was but this watch was a pleasant surprise and i think you should snap it up what remaining colors if you like the other colors that are available or just have them on your radar guys follow them on instagram that's how i found out about van banner is through instagram and i enjoy their quality loom shots and the prototypes and things and see how the brand is developing and that's part of the fun of this community and this watch hobby is seeing other people come along with great individual designs and see how well they do and i wish van banner all the best and i've really enjoyed reviewing this piece if you've enjoyed this piece Check out some of my other videos. 
festive time coming up, bit more time on your hands, just, uh, just lie back, relax and watch every single video I've ever made. And hopefully that will um, grow the channel infinitely to pass 10,000 subscribers. If not, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.